All right, take two, because I fucked up the first intro. Here we go with a soulmate journey update. One deck for the DF over here, the, the trusty animal deck, and one deck for the DM. And I'm going to use, this time, Terra Obscura, one of my offline decks. It's got all kinds of skeletons and things like that. We want to go deep into the DM side of this, okay? This deck reads from the inside out. It's like going to get some imaging done at the hospital or something. It's, it's crazy. We're going to see what's going on. Why? Because I did an energetic weather update earlier. And it talked about the King of Wands. And there's some Archangel Michael doing some work on them. Archangel Michael energy, for sure. Doing some work on their side. And I want to take a look at some of that. And I think this deck will help us out with that. This deck here, well, it just wanted to be on camera. I don't know. Vane, I, I don't know. There you go. No. Either way, let's go. Let's shuffle for the DF first. Let's get started. All right? And then we'll get to the DM. Uh, it's a general reading. This, this deck, I have only used this deck one other time on camera in, in the year, since 2021 when, when I got here. Just one other time. I'll tell you, it's going to be interesting. It, it's crazy. All right, let's see where we go. Let's first start with the DF here, which is most of you. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but the title brought you in here. You found Steve's Love Tarot. You're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Why? You should all say it. Because, right, I'm not a fucking time lord. And you're all moving at different speeds on your timelines. All right, let's go. DF, give me the DF right now. There's a whole playlist of these. You might be in a different spot. This might be future influence for you. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll all find out together. All right. We will all find out together. Well, I think we will here. You're about to learn something. It's a Queen of Swords is your environmental energy. It's around, uh, let's see what the baseline energy is from the top of the deck here. Yeah, Eight Wands. I can't escape the Eight Wands. We opened an energetic weather update earlier from another deck. I think it was the Lightseer uh, in a pre-shuffle with the Eight of Wands, wasn't it? Yeah. And I said that's probably the universe around you trying to talk to you, or it could be incoming messages. It looks like it might be both for some of you. Because this is definitely not about the energy around you trying to talk to you. That's that's an, that's the other reading, okay? This is uh, in-your-face communication from somebody here being a little bit cold, okay? Or your no, no, it's and it's a it's a conversation. I always correct my you know again. I want to make sure I get it right for you. The DF side can expect a communication, but the communication occurs in the wrong energy. So maybe something goes wrong here, or maybe it doesn't go the way you think it's going to go. So my advice to you is to stop thinking it's going to go either way, okay? Don't start playing stuff out in your head. Don't start running, dreaming, and whatever, like some crazy six-year-old who's already picked out their wedding dress. Don't be like that. Okay, and because I can tell that kid right now that wedding's not going to go the way she dreamed, right? Something's going to go wrong. One of the server staff is going to throw up during the ceremony. I mean, it, all kinds of things can happen. I have never been to a wedding that went off without a hitch. My point is, in this energy, this communication is not going to go off without a hitch. There are going to be some hitches, okay? Um, it's the wrong energy for something. There's a lot of passion here, a lot of love here. I feel it. and It's the wrong energy for it. Somebody not in the mood, maybe, uh, but the environmental energy is cold and the conversation is hot. And I'm not sure the conversation heats up the cold, if you follow. Let's clarify. I'm going to clarify this with the same deck, the little animal deck. I'm going to match it, okay? And I'm going to do the obscura with the witches. <sighs> Back off. And I can dig it. All right, let's go. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Talk to me. Tell me about this. All right, let's go. Don't think it's going to go either way. Don't don't even think with what? Well, well, Steve, you just said it's the wrong thing. It's probably going to go bad. Don't think that either. All right? Be neutral. God, if you learn anything from me while I'm out here on this damn YouTube, if you learn a damn thing from me, please learn to be neutral. Don't be positive. Don't be negative. Be neutral. You'll always be okay. You're going to put therapists out of business. If you just learn neutral energy, you learn the lesson of temperance. The most important lesson in the major arcana, in my fucking opinion. Oh, I don't, like me, I look at this. If I was watching, I don't care. Okay, thanks for the info, Steve. I'll keep it in mind. All right? I'll temper myself. Well, there you go. Eight of Wands, tell me about this communication that occurs. This hot communication that occurs in the cold here. 
Cold, 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 cold. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, it's the King of Pentacles. It's it's at the bottom. It's crossing the center card I'm going to pull, which is red with the Queen of Swords. These are two separate things. I get these two come together. So this is the environmental energy, red with the center card, which is red with the environmental energy. So when these two come together, this is a fairly nice, kind, sweet, loved king. And this is a bitch. Okay, you follow me? It's a really resting bitch face uh, with a sword. Everything is an insult. Everything is a... Well, in, the, in this context, that's not the meaning of the card, but you follow me, right? These are like two different people. One really nice and one really mean. That kind of thing. Um, somebody here, I get this, somebody here attached to you, well, sees your value, finds you irreplaceable. I'm not sure... Uh, you may need to tell them, well, you may find me irreplaceable, but you're very replaceable, okay? You might be this cold energy here. Be careful about being too cold, okay? You don't need to burn bridges, okay? What's going on on top here? You just might not be in the mood. I don't know. You had judgment. Somebody's showing up. Somebody's showing up. Somebody wants a second crack at you, and I don't think they find you in the right mood. You would want to, this would need to be the Queen of Pentacles for this to be a beautiful, smooth conversation. Maybe, stay neutral, right? Maybe you're getting this information from me right now so that you temper that, right? We just talked about temperance. How about that? Maybe. I don't know because I, I tell you what, it's like this, this little girl walks up, oh, you're, you're, you're so lovely. Oh, it's wonderful. I finally realized that I like you. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck off, right? That kind of thing. I, there's something resurrecting here. Something's coming back. It's just happening in the wrong energy. And again, I'm stretching the energy. This may not be you. This might just be the environmental energy. In other words, it just might be a day when nobody in the right mood and this conversation happens. Energy has to be right for something to happen, for something to go right. The energy has to be there for it, right? Um, everything is energy. For your car to start, there needs to be oxygen and fuel. Those are energies. They have to be there. If they're not, one, if either one is missing, it won't start. The energy's wrong. We need oxygen and fuel for this to, for this to happen, for this, these wands to ignite. It's not there. One of them is missing. I don't know what it is. Don't, I think it's the oxygen, <laughs> if I'm to use an analogy. But somebody returning here. What's the center card? It's crossed by the King of Pentacles. Yeah. What did I say? We talk about starting cars, right? It's an explosion. That's how cars start. They start with an explosion. You got little explosions going off. All right, a little a sparks flying, explosions, compression comes up, piston, blah, blah, blah. It, well, here it is. Ace of, Ace of Wands. Somebody wants a second crack at you, and they show up rather suddenly. I don't think you're expecting this. And I'll tell you why. Because of what I told you in the energetic weather update around that King of Wands, I think this side is being worked on separately. I don't think you ever expect that this side will get fixed. It's not fixed. It's just fixed enough that it's working. Somebody here definitely does not want to lose you. And I just don't think, I think they show up at the wrong moment. Okay? That's all I can say. Uh, okay. What's red with judgment? Yeah. See, what did I say? It's very sudden. You're not expecting it. It's like somebody answering the door in their towel. Right? Somebody knock at your door. If you're like a salesman or a Jehovah's Witness, and which probably wouldn't be watching me, but so I doubt there's one. But anyway, if you're like a salesman, and you're, on, you want, you're trying to get a sale and you knock at the door uh, and, and somebody answers the door in a towel. You, you've disturbed their shower. that You can see it still running steam coming out of the bathroom door and somebody's standing there in a the towel. You've shown up at the wrong time. You've, you haven't, you, you just, it's just not your fucking day. Okay? At the end of the day here, somebody shows up rather suddenly. Somebody desperately wants a second chance. They want to try to rebuild. The conversation's very passionate on one side, all about that. And the other side is having none of it. And I'm not really sure why. I'm not. Somebody else, again, somebody sees your value. Nine cups fueling that. Okay? Somebody showing up. A page of cups right there with an apology. And again, I think that apology is met with a fucking sword. Of truth, I think you you speak your truth to this person rather harshly. Maybe a bit of overkill because of the environmental energy, okay? Or maybe because you had expectations and you think it's going to go one way and you shouldn't shouldn't think and it goes the other way. That's why you should just be neutral. You could be like water, take the shape of whatever you're poured into, and whichever way it goes, you deal with it as it goes, right? Okay, all right. Um, 
I'm going to do something I rarely do. So I'm going to take that card out and put it there. I'm going to pull on that Queen of Swords. Okay, I'm going to clarify it right on top of it before we get to wicked voodoo over here. <sighs> Skeletons and reading from the inside out. This might be too much energy reading for YouTube. I'll dumb it down. I'll, I'll, well, I won't dumb it down, but I'll tone it down a little bit in my read. All right, we'll, we'll try to be cool because this, this Tarot Obscura can get a little crazy town. Um, what's going on with the uh, Queen of Swords? Why is this here? Just just give me something, okay? Give, give, give me something on this Queen of Swords. Oh, oh okay. You uh, It's crossed by the Page of Pentacles. It's almost like, how do I phrase this? You just, you're just not in the mood. You want to school somebody on something. You know, you just feel like you, you want it. You would like a, a reboot with this energy, but the mood you're in, you think it's time to school them on something. Yeah. Empress, it is you. Mm, that's you right there. And the Knight of Wands. It's, it's an energy that finds you very emotional. Not in the, There's a conversation that happens. Somebody that you may have wanted to show back up shows up seeing your value. Shows up rather suddenly. I got two explosive energies here. Want to reboot. Major Arcana, Major Arcana read together. They show up very passionate. And I think they catch you at a moment where you're very much in your emotions. And it's causing you to act impulsively. Uh, it's sort of a lash out energy kind of a thing. It's sort of a, a emotional outburst Oh, it, where afterward you might say, I didn't mean to say that. Oh, why did I do that? Right? So you're getting this information for a reason. Be on the lookout. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Okay. Ain't nobody can predict free will. I mean, some of, some of the, some of them might, some of them might not, but the ones that do show up, it's going to show up in a moment where you're feeling very impulsive and you might say some things you'll regret later. Very emotional things. It's hard for the Empress to control things when I have, why is the Empress here? The Knight of Wands. Okay? It's a very impulsive energy. So just keep it in mind. Try to be neutral. Know that this might happen rather suddenly on when you least expect it, this communication. And try to just not have any expectations for how it's going to go in advance. Don't try to play it out in your head. Just let things play out. You know, be like water. All right. All right. DM side. Let's go. Let's get these on camera first here. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, there we go. All right. DM side. Tarot Obscura. I'm going to cut it because I don't remember. The, I know the last offline reading I did was for a friend of mine. I used this deck and uh, I want to make sure their energy is gone. You don't want their reading. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, it's about a soulmate here. There's the hermit randomly at the bottom. It's about a soulmate. Let's go. This is the story of a soulmate. Cry the river and drown the whole world. Right? Okay, let's see where we go here. All right, let's see. Give me the DM side, universe. Tell me about it. Oh, shit. Okay, there, bottom. Yep. Why did I uh, listen? This deck is fucking scary. This deck will scare the shit out of you with the shit that happens. The the synchronicities, the the happenstances. I said we're here. I'm using this deck. I said rewind. I'm using this deck because in the energetic weather update earlier, we had that King of Wands show up, and it's going through their own kind of thing, right? And we want to see what that is from the inside out. The bottom card is the King of Wands. There it is. It's the environmental energy. That's what we're talking about. we got somebody here. King of Wands energy on this side. It's who we're talking about. You showed up as Empress and Queen of Swords. <laughs> Queen of Swords don't like the King of Wands. Queen, Queen of Swords got no time for this fucker. This superficial, you know, trying to make you lie, just say anything, make you believe anything's possible. No time. Not buying that, motherfucker. Maybe this time they show up because they're doing some inner work. Maybe this time they show up and they're better. You know, they, I got the King of Pentacles here. They're showing up with good intentions. I can dig where you're coming from, but try to be cool, okay? What's the base energy here? <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, oh, the Page of Swords. Yep. Somebody here on this side, the work that's happening is, okay, I'm just going to show you this because, again, 
I've got it. We've got sort of a sun here, okay? That's it, the sun enlightens things. It provides a lot of clarity. Somebody on this side, the DM energy, this King of Wands, is being provided with some serious insight. They're having their guts ripped out about what a disappointing jackass their life is and how they've been and how they've caused all their own problems. That's the work that, that temperance, Archangel Michael, right? Temp we had te temperance and the King of Wands was the message from the universe up, uh, that where they were handling their own thing over there in the energetic weather update earlier today. All right, that's Archangel Michael energy. It's about truth and a lot of healing. And I see it. I see it happening. This, this person here is being torn down. The soul is being completely torn down and rebuilt. All right, that's fucking unreal. Um, forced to face all of their disappointments in this energy. So that's, I think, why somebody shows up wanting to at least pretend that they have their shit together. All right, Maybe not realizing that, like the salesman knocking on the door, they might want to wait for a better time to show up. You know, you, you usually want to show up at someone's house at a time when they might not be in the shower or they're not eating dinner or something like that, right? You don't knock on someone's door at 5 p.m. to, to do a sale. You wouldn't do I mean, that just seems stupid to me. 7 a.m. seems stupid too. Somebody probably eating breakfast or in the shower or something like that. So somebody here just doesn't pick the right moment. Their timing is a little off. But they've done. There's a lot of inner work happening here. We're going to talk to the witches on this. These two decks go well together. You know what? We're not. We're not. I'm going to clarify. I'm going to stick with the Obscura. We're going to clarify with the Obscura. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ah, da, 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 da. And by the way, this King of Wands is coming to communicate. And he brings a message of change. It's the Knight of Swords. Someone's going to bear their soul to you and, and a lot of clarity here. I just don't feel like you care. For some reason, it just, you know, sometimes it's just the wrong moment. It's the wrong time. You don't feel like talking about something. I don't know why. I just think this, this unlucky bastard here just... Maybe it's part of their process. Maybe that's a lesson they need to learn. Is that it's not all about them. There's still this level of selfishness that I feel. There's still something left inside the skeleton. And I feel that it's some kind of selfishness. I really do. Let's get this on camera here. Tell me about the Page of Swords. All right. It's wild that we had the Knight of Swords underneath that King of Wands. All right. But there's a level of selfishness that's still there. Okay. It's almost like that salesman didn't care that you showed up at the door with the towel on. They're going to give you the sales pitch anyway. You're dripping, you're getting cold, you know, all that kind of stuff. Don't care. Okay. But impulsive behavior with Empress energy is not a good mix. I will tell you that. That's not somewhat, I, can, I get it. The net result is Queen of Swords. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Ah, Jesus, holy crap. Uh, seven, oh, sorry, Seven of Wands is the crossing card here. Somebody's, somebody is showing up with some fight in them. But there's a, what's fueling that? Three of Pentacles. They want something here that they don't know what they want. Somebody's showing up with some fight in them, but it's empty. They don't know what they want. Okay, uh, that's crossing the center card, which is red with the King of Wands. So someone is the King of Wands. What's on top? The Eight of Wands, yeah, somebody's showing up. The Eight of Wands, somebody's showing up. That's communication. This energy is communicating about, are they communicating from disappointment or about the disappointment? Because I ask why the Page of Swords is here. Somebody's communicating because they feel like they have to, but I don't think they know what they want here. I, I think, hmm, what's the center card? Red with the King of Wands. Very interesting. Four of Swords. Yeah. Um, it's crossed by that empty Seven of Wands. Um, this energy has healed, but I think it's going to be hard for you to tell by the words that are coming out of their mouth. The words that are coming out of their mouth are still fairly emotionally immature for some reason. Why is the Eight of Wands here? What's red with the Eight of Wands? Yeah, the two. Uh, the Two of Pentacles, I'm sorry. It's just, it's a whole lot of double talk. It's a whole lot of somebody doesn't know. Somebody, this energy comes towards you. They've gone on a, how do I phrase this? They've gone on a dark night of the soul, let's say. They've done the inner work. But they haven't put themselves back together yet. 
It's sort of like you drop, I, I'm going to give you a car analogy. All right, I have to. You drop your car off, you want to have it restored. It's a rust bucket. It's a piece of shit. Okay, you're like, take care of this. I want to come and pick it up and have it look like I bought it, it's picked it up from the showroom, right? So they call you, they tell you your car is ready, you go, and it's, it's still stripped. Nothing's done. All the parts are painted, but they're all sitting, leaning against the wall. What you've got, what, what you're picking up is a car frame with four tires on it. It's a bit of that. Somebody here has done the inner work, but they really didn't get the substance out of it. So they're not really sure why they're showing up. They're just showing up. They definitely want something from you. <laughs> and think, you know, just look at that. Just look at it. I mean, it is what it is. Somebody, oh man, unbelievable. It's a seven of swords. It's deceptive. I'm sorry. It's a seven of swords. It's deceptive. All right. It's very deceptive. They want something, but they're not really conveying. I just think you're having none of it. I think that's what the deal is. I think you're having none of it. But yeah, and it's not that the cards have skeletons on them. So that, that's not always the case. What I'm noticing is there's there's nothing. There is absolutely nothing. There's still elements of, of the old left inside. So let this sort it out. You, you're getting this information, so maybe you don't react this way. They have tried. They have tried to put in the work here. Okay? They have. It's just this. Mm, I could read this another way, and I think I might, just to offer you a little hope here. Yeah, they're showing up, but they don't know why they're showing up or what they want from you. But that could be a little bit deceptive in and of itself. Okay? Maybe what you should do, maybe you're getting this, so you don't do just run the sword through them. Maybe you should give this energy the benefit of the doubt for at least realizing that they were a disappointing asshole, that they disappointed you. And they're coming to talk about that. Okay? That much is true. They're coming to talk about how they disappointed you. But it, it doesn't really go anywhere. It, it's, a, it's a round and around and around and around. It's a lot of double talk. Now we're going to grab the witches and see what, it, see what else he wants to tell you. Give me three cards and a crossing card here. I don't know if it wants to talk to you or about this. I don't know. Either way. Still don't get a, I don't get a whole lot of soul here. I get someone who knows they want something from you, and, and I know that they see your value. And I just, uh, again, maybe this is the extent to which they can go. Maybe this is as far as this energy can go. I don't know. And this can apply to a new soulmate, somebody who's worked up the nerve to ask you out, or somebody who's worked up the nerve to tell you something that they've been meaning to tell you. I don't know. I do know that the conversation, it appears to annoy the living fuck out of you. Okay? And probably for, you're picking up on the same thing I am here. It, it's an empty shell showing up. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what the universe has to say. Let's go. What do you want to talk about? Mm -hmm. It wants to talk about this side. Seven of Wands, Seven of Wands. Okay? We're going to talk about this. This is what the universe wants to talk about, and I don't blame it. It's very interesting because I got someone here definitely wants something from you. Three of Pentacles, want a partnership, want a friendship, want to tell you something, want to bang you. I don't know. They are showing up, looking like they got some fight in them, but they don't. It, 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 there's, a, there's just a, eh, nothing, you know? It's like, it doesn't go anywhere. Why? Let's talk about it. Let's see. Bottom card, seven of, seven of wands. Yeah, they're interested. Um, Ace of swords, hangman, and the four of wands. Wow. Okay. So you're getting the information of what they do want, okay? What somebody wants will not be abundantly clear, by the way. But what somebody wants here is three cups. Somebody wants to talk emotionally. I don't think they can. Why? Well, here's their picture. Does that look like anybody's got any soul there or not? I mean, it's, it's again, somebody knows that, they're, that they disappointed you. And I think they just want to fix that. I don't think they understand why they disappointed you. Okay? So they know they disappointed you. They don't understand why. And until they understand why, they won't know what exactly it is you bring to the table. Why, why are they seeing your value? Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's a couple of ways to look at this. I call this the eight-point buck with rainbow antlers. There's a way that a hunter sees the value of this. And there's the way that someone who's sort of a tree-hugger nature person like myself might see the value in this. I see the uniqueness in it. I say let it live. 
let it go on and thrive and maybe we could further these genes and get more bucks with rainbow antlers. A hunter would see it as I need that on my fucking wall. The guys that the guys down at the bar are going to be thrilled. I'm going to be the star of the town for getting that right. Kind of a thing. So there's a couple of ways of looking at it. I think this energy sees you more the way the hunter sees this. Okay, not the way they should be seeing it on a deeper level. Um, it's up to you to show them that. Do not react this way. Okay, it's up to you to offer this person offer this person your truth from a neutral perspective. Offer them your truth, okay? Because again, the truth of the matter is they're either what, who you want to walk this path with or not. And if they're not, you don't want to. Why would you settle? You're not going to settle. You're just a little bit impulsive in this energy. You want to be a little bit careful about that, all right? But yeah, somebody, somebody definitely has a lot, a lot of emotions to share. You might be able to get it out of them by sharing your truth. But you want to share your truth from an Ace of Swords, an Archangel Michael softened type energy softened by the Four of Wands here. Okay? It's a fairly happy card. You don't want to share your truth from an impulsive, overly emotional, you get the fuck out of my house kind of person, right? You know. You don't even know why you're here. I'll tell you I'll tell you what. You're not here. Goodbye. Slam the door. You don't want to do that. Alright? You wanna be cool a little bit. If you can do that, I don't know, let's see where it goes. So where does it go if my viewer can be cool and not fall prey to Empress, Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands, <laughs> explosive energy? What do we get? Give me one card and a crossing card. Where does it go if we could be cool here? Let's see. One card and a crossing card for you. Look at that. Look at this. I said be cool, right? Be cool. Temperance. Important lesson. Told you. It's a very important thing. Six of Wands. Look at this. Why am I your second favorite? You see what I just did? Six of Wands. You, the, your, your viewer, Steve, the universe says, can get victory. Yep. If they just be cool. Find some temperance. Be neutral. Pay attention to what I told you around that Queen of Swords. Because it just came out right there. There's your temperance card and there's your victory. Your victory lives in your ability to not be resting, resting sword face here. Okay? Uh, you're going to be very emotional to see this person. They're going to activate something. This, this energy showing up towards you is going to trigger you in some way. Even if it's a new soulmate, it's going to trigger you. It's a pretty powerful soulmate. I had the hermit randomly at the bottom of this Obscura deck when I picked it up. So keep that in mind. But with the way the energy is, the way the environmental energy is, it's going to be very erratic when it, when it does. So you're going to turn into this, transform into this Hulk, this Queen of Swords here. All right, don't. Try to stay neutral. Know that this energy shows up at an inopportune time, out of nowhere. <laughs> Fine. Just deal with it as it comes in. Your victory lies in your temperance, not in running your sword through them. All right? And quite frankly, even if you run your sword through them, you can't kill them anyway. You could just run the sword through. It's going to go right through. They're not going to get it. You know? So don't bother. You, this, this energy will only respond because it's, it's going through a process. It's being torn down. It's being rebuilt. It will only respond to uh, truth. Archangel Michael truth delivered in a sense of, of some hope. In a sense of some peace. Uh, breaking bread together sort of energy. Okay? That's your reading. Do what you want. I don't care. I, I don't blame you if, if you do end up that way. I'm just saying temperance is always your best bet. And in this situation, it is. Whether it's a new soulmate or a long lost runner or a family member you have a soul tie with that wants to tell you something, that wants to tell you they've changed and you're like, no you haven't. Yes I have. No you haven't. Don't get in the no you haven't. Yes I have fight. That's very this over here. All right. If somebody tells you they've changed and they want to apologize to you, take it. Right? You, you, your power with this temperance here, the DF side, your power lives, whoever the fuck this is, your power lives in forgiveness. You forgive them, a lot of your troubles go away. Forgiveness is for you. You're not forgiving them. You, forgiveness is for ourselves. All right? So keep that in mind. Temperance, 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 temperance. Research the energy if you need to or just take what I said. All right? Just be cool. Neutral. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.